I've got a single coming out. Yeah. As you well know. My idea is that instead of getting somebody to interview me, I thought I'd get you and me to have a little chat. Because mm -hmm. you know me. Yeah. It's less awkward. It's Anna, Dad. Father's Day. And it's Father's Day. Thumbnail. I am Macy and I am a daughter of Darfold. <laughs> Anybody who follows my music know, probably spotted who you are and where you've been in my music. Some music videos. Yeah. I'm going to put these on. Is that better? I think it's better. Right. First question, what is the song about? 80s. Better in the 80s, what is it about? Better in the 80s is about... Um, <laughs> It's, it's about how life. I grew up in the 80s, so I, 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 f I felt a lot happier in the 80s. And I always look back on it, and I love the music from the 80s, so I thought I'd write a song about the 80s. That, that's really what it's about. Yeah, and I actually remember when you were writing it, I tried to help, but I couldn't because I wasn't alive. Because so you, you weren't I didn't born in any the 80s. Of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's still yeah. a good song. I actually forget about that you weren't born in the 80s. Yeah. I wasn't alive till like, not even 90s. I was a teenager in the 80s. That's so weird. That's what the song's about, really. Do you like the song? No. Next question. Name one thing people don't know about you. I'm a celiac, which means I can't have gluten. It's a nightmare for you as well, isn't it? Yeah. Because if we go to a restaurant and everything, it has to be like gluten-free and whatever. But I do think if I weren't a celiac, I'd be the size of like a whale. Because <laughs> I, like, I like bread and stuff That's like that. That's true. Do people know that you used to be in a band? I don't know if they do know that. I used to be in a working band for years. And we used to do covers like NSYNC and name some boy bands. I don't like. know. And I did that professionally. That's pretty cool. That, I don't that, remember that's, it. That's what put a roof over your head. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Does this look alright? Do I look fat? No. You okay. <laughs> Describe your music in three words. Electronic, huge choruses, c catchy. That's... The middle is technically two words. Huge. Huge. What, how would you describe my music? You're biased though. I'm a bit biased. I would say electronic. That's the um, same as mine. Yeah, that's what I mean. But that's like a big bit of it. I would say like dreamy. A lot of it's very oh, that's like a good timeless. One. Oh, that is a good one. Yeah. Because it's very, the music and your voice is, matches very well in like a like a, yeah, right. a nice way. I like that. Okay. Time, I like timeless. That's timeless. good. Electronic, dreamy, timeless. That's your catch line. Nice. Yeah. Next. Why do you wear the cowboy hat? I didn't want to look like somebody off the street. And, and I'm losing my hair a bit as well because I'm <laughs> getting on a bit. I didn't want to look like Mr. Normal. It's very unique. Is this normal? I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's normal. I think even without the hat, it's probably not normal. <laughs> even without the hat, it's not normal. Well, I've got a recording studio as well, and there was a, a lady that came, Kerry, who, who brought the cowboy hat for a shoot, uh, for a photo shoot, and she left it behind. Uh, I did a, a cover of some song on, on, a, on a video. I wore the hat, kind of as a joke, really, and, and, I, and it kind of stuck. I'd just keep it. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I'm not seeing anyone else just randomly wearing a cowboy no, hat. No, I don't like I don't like cowboy I don't like cowboy music. Yeah, I was about to say yeah. unless they're doing like country music, but you're not. I like I like I like Rascal Flats that type of kind of you know. But yeah, yeah, I don't like. Do you like cowboy music? No, no. That's <laughs> nothing against cowboy music, no. though, is it? No, not at all. Just not no. my cup of tea. Well, it's actually coffee. Oh. Either. Anyway, are you working on anything else at the moment? I'm always, I'm always working on stuff. Sometimes it takes a while is because I do it all myself. <laughs> I, I, I'm always working on something, but it's the process of starting and writing a song, producing it, and then doing all the st different stages takes so long. It so, does. As you well know. I know. And also, um, when you're like very into a song, you'll get up at like six o'clock in the morning because you can't sleep because you're that like focused on it. Just do all day. And I know that, so... No, you know, there's, there's a sound bar, bar there. When I'm writing on something, <laughs> I, I'll come up in the kitchen, they'll all be eating or talking or whatever, and I'll come up and say, can you just listen to this? And you have to uh, listen to the... The most drafts I've done is like 25. So over a period of, say, two weeks, three weeks, they're having to listen to all the different stages. And there's also a lot of, like, different versions of your songs as well. Like, yeah. there's some that are more electronic and some that are, like, more pop. 
it could be cool to like somewhere like release some of the un like unfinished versions they're like different to the normal because they're very different like you'll start off a song where it's like completely different sound to when it actually comes out yeah but I don't know if that's because I hear it that many times that I get bored of it. Yeah, it could be. I've actually ruined the magic of that song. Maybe. And, and the version yeah. that finally comes out is actually rubbish compared. It's not rubbish, but maybe compared. We'll see. As, as father and daughter, <laughs> ask me something. Okay. Anything. <laughs> you have a few music videos out. Not for every song, but you have quite a lot. Um, how do you come up with like the concepts for the videos? Because they're usually like not really anything to do with the video that much if you don't like read into it. So how do you like come up with like the concepts? I'm limited because I do my own videos. Logistically I have to try and do it. At the beginning of Darfolds I, I, I weren't in the videos. One because I didn't want to be and two because I, I couldn't be because I was behind the camera. So I used to try and think of things as you well know. I was in the videos. He was, he was in the videos. <laughs> she didn't want to be, by the way, completely forced. Generally, just coming in the kitchen and then thinking what I can do. So the concept... Like the one the, in the car, where you, like, kill someone and put them in the boot. Like, I thought that was pretty random. Didn't oh, that... Butterflies. That yeah. came... Didn't that come into your head when you were actually filming? That was, like, planned the day before, I think. Yeah. And also, I, I had already murdered somebody, so... I like that video. Yeah? The one with the car. So, what do you think of my single, Better in the 80s? <laughs> she likes it. She loves it. She that loves was... it. Oh my God. <laughs> That's that done then. <laughs>